I had to come out here tonight to shut a vent on the underground greenhouse at Saddle Peak Farm and Vineyard, and I thought I'd take this quick video to show you the three kinds of lighting that we use in the in the underground greenhouse. This first one's a little circle, sits on the uh, on the wall here, and it's battery powered, and it has a motion sensor, and it's LED, it's an LED bulb, which is very efficient. And I'm proud to say I don't come out here and hang out in the greenhouse at night all that often. So because it only comes on with a motion sensor, it's been going on like two and a half years, I believe, on that one battery. So fairly powerful. It's nothing that you'd want to do lots of work by, but it's good enough to light. You probably can't make out too much on here, especially since my um, phone is uh, putting its own light out on it. But it, it, it's sufficient to do some work. The second type is, is intended as a landscape lighting. I had a couple extras, so I threw them in here. They don't put off as much light as that battery-powered one, but they're more decorative, and uh, they're also nothing you'd want to be doing a workout or something at night along a path with them. But um, these have held up for maybe two years, and they have not dimmed much, and they do pretty well. And the third type that's going to kick on when it sees me motion-wise, uh, this is the most powerful, and this one is also LED lighting, and it has its own, unlike the other one that's battery powered, this one has a battery, but it's it's charged by its own solar charger. I'm trying to get my phone in there to see if you can see it. But in any case, that one you don't even have to think about the battery at all because it's always ch recharging its own battery. It has more brightness than the others. And I'll try again, I'll try to give links to all three of these below the video in case you're interested in buying any of them. But anyway, that's what the setup we use here.